nothing to hide, and he's spoken before, and he'll speak to you now. Roger. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. As I have always said, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Uh, after a two-year inquisition, the charges today relate in no way to Russian collusion, WikiLeaks collaboration, or any other illegal act in connection with the 2016 campaign. I am falsely accused of making false statements during my testimony to the House Intelligence Committee. That is incorrect. Any, uh, any error I made in my testimony would be both immaterial and without intent. Uh, I find it disturbing that the special counsel's office released a press release prior to informing my attorneys that I would be charged today. This morning, uh, at the crack of dawn, 29 FBI agents arrived at my home with 17 vehicles with their lights flashing uh, when they could simply have contacted my attorneys and I would have been more than willing to surrender voluntarily. Uh, they terrorized my wife, my dogs. Uh, I was uh, taken to the FBI facility, uh, although I must say the FBI agents were extraordinarily courteous. Uh, I will plead not guilty to these charges. I will defeat them in court. I believe this is a politically motivated investigation. Uh, I am troubled by the political motivations of the prosecutors. Uh, and as I have said previously, there is no circumstance whatsoever under which I will bear false witness against the president, nor will I make up lies to ease the pressure on myself. I look forward to being fully and completely vindicated. Did you in any way cooperate with the special counsel's office? Did you in any way cooperate with the special counsel's office? Uh, since I was not contacted prior uh, to the charges today, my lawyers have not talked to the special prosecutors. I don't want to address that question, but I have made it clear I will not testify against the president because I would have to bear false witness against him. Will you work with the prosecutor? Uh, I will be uh, appearing for an arraignment in D.C. next week, and I'll address those questions at that time. Roger, the president said that you had done that. What do you think he meant by that? Well, I intend to tell the truth. I have told the truth through this entire proceeding, uh, and I will prove that in a court of law. How strong are you going to ask the president, president for a pardon? Trump? Uh, I am one of his oldest friends. I am a, uh, a fervent supporter of the president. I think he is doing a great job of making America great again. Roger, did anyone tell you to contact in the Trump campaign to contact WikiLeaks? Uh, no, I have addressed that before. That is incorrect. Well, you look at the you think the president helped you? Pardon me? If you, if you were convicted, do you think the president would pardon you? The only person I have advocated a pardon for is Marcus Garvey. From NBC News, sir. Yes. The question is, did you in any way work with the Russians to help President Trump? Uh, categorically. Categorically not. No, absolutely not. And the prosecutor, your special prosecutor, we got you, Roger. Is we got you back, Roger. Will you in any way? With, with, with all due respect, I haven't even had a chance to read the indictment. You haven't even read the indictment. Correct. My attorneys have. I have not had that opportunity. So will you? Will you? Will you help the prosecutor to answer his question? I will address those questions next week in Washington D.C. Roger. Thank you. Roger.